Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing the most requested makeup look I think have, that you guys have ever asked me to do. Um, recently in my current favorites video, so many of you literally <laughs> commented asking me to recreate this look or how I got this look or what my lip combo was. So of course, I was like, I have to make a video for you guys. To be honest, this is sort of my like summer glam look and I don't really, like I said, play with a lot. Like you guys know, I don't really play with a lot of color. It's very rare that I do. If I'm like going out with my girlfriends or if I have like a date night or something like that, this is usually what I gravitate towards, something a little bit more natural but still enhances everything while still kind of giving that like summery sun kiss look. I just think it's a really pretty look for the summer. Um, yeah, I threw my hair back today because <laughs> it is so dirty and I don't wanna wash it right now. I'm waiting, hopefully by tomorrow I can wash my hair. So I'm gonna have everything linked down below for you guys per usual. If you have any questions or any other video recommendations, please leave them in the comments below because as you can see, I take what you guys say into account and I bring it to life. If you guys wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Let's do this. Let's get ready to rumble. So I go ahead and put some eye drops in just because I noticed that um, when I have, when I use these specific ones and recently discovered this, it's Lumify. You can get it at Target, you can get it on Amazon. It's the best eye drops ever. It literally makes the whites of your eyes look so white. And I swear like it just helps make your like makeup look just like pop even more. I need to clip my bangs back. I don't know how I'm gonna do this considering. Should we just do this? Whatever. Okay. So lately what I've been doing just to prime my skin, I just use Embryolisse most of the time or I'll use this other one that I have. Um, it's the Thrive Timeless Ambition one. I really like this one. This one is just kind of like a primer and a moisturizer all in one. Why am I so out of breath? Hydrating is really important. Obviously the look that I created is very like dewy and glowy and fresh faced looking. I always think it's really important to use uh, lip balm when uh, you know prepping the skin also means lip balm. Charlotte's Magic Lip Oil Crystal Elixir. So I like it but I went to like link it online one time and I realized how expensive it was and I was like I don't think anybody should be spending $40 on a lip balm you know what I mean? So do I think it's worth it? No, just use like any other lip balm. I just have this here. I'm gonna use a primer and this is the Beauty Counter Glow First Priming Serum. I actually just partnered with them doing some like um, content on Instagram, but I really like this stuff. So I'm gonna keep using it. Um, look how much glow it just adds to the skin. It's such a lightweight product, which I really like the fact that this is a, primer but it's a serum so it doesn't feel like another like moisturizer where you're like adding so much and your skin starts to feel kind of heavy or like pilly this literally feels so nice I think I found like my new favorite primer like look how much my skin glows just using this I will go ahead and use the Charlotte Tilbury tan um, this is the flawless filter this is so good I love it I'm just gonna apply this basically as like our base I'm gonna take my Sephora foundation brush. This is honestly the only foundation brush I use other than the e.l.f. ones that I use all the time. This really just like blends everything together. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener in the shade Deep Butter. And this is basically a concealer slash eye brightener as you can see I have really dark under eyes and at first I didn't really like love this product when I first saw it online I was so excited to try it um and I bought like th honestly three different shades um just because I didn't know with like correctors and brighteners like I just don't know which shade usually would would suit my skin tone the best so um, I find that deep butter works really well for me. So all I'm gonna do, this stuff can kind of come out really fast. So 
I usually will just apply some here and here. I'm just gonna take a blending brush and blend this all in. And you want to just kind of use tapping motions. I'll go in with the sponge in a little bit. Kind of focus on this area. And then if you have a little bit of discoloration on your lid like I do, I will apply it onto my lid as well. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna push everything in. Next up, I'm gonna take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Add a little bit more here, just cause I really do have this like darkness. And then I'm gonna take my contour. So what I've been really liking is the Chanel Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. This one is in the shade 395 Soleil Tan Deep Bronze. Um, so they have a darker version now. I don't use it all the time just because I do switch back and forth between the Say one, which I think is a really good dupe, but nothing like a nice Chanel product, you know? the Morphe M536. Really great for contouring. I also have another one for like cream blush as well. So we're just gonna focus this kind of as like the parameters here, here. Kind of focus this to like the top of the ear, like where my hairline goes, and then right to about here, and then just try to blend that out. For nose, I'm just going to go right underneath my nose, like right here on the tip. And then I will go right here just to kind of like make the nose look like it's pointing more upwards, if that makes sense. If you feel like the color has dispersed all over the nose, like mine has, um, you can just go back in with some concealer, which I'll show you in a second. I'm gonna take the concealer, and brush like this, and I'm just going to take some of this on the blending brush and apply it to the crease. So next up I'm going to take my brow freeze and I just take it. There are so many planes today. Like what is going on? I'm just going to take some on my brush like this. I need to get one that like has like a spatula on it. So just tap the product onto the hair and then mold how you wish. And I notice when you tap the product onto the hair, like push it in, it really just like shellacks them down, which is fabulous. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a minute or two and we will come back to the brows. So I am gonna use the Mario Earthy Pink right here. It's a really pretty, like subtle mauve shade, which I think looks really nice on a lot of people. And I'm gonna focus it right on the apples of the cheek. Like this. And I did even bring it up, like right up here right at the arch of my brow. And I know it looks crazy right now, but we're gonna blend it out. And then I'm just gonna apply some to the nose. And then I'm gonna take some of this on the brush and then I'm gonna go on the eyes as well. And this will tie everything together. We're actually gonna go in with a little bit of eyeshadow later. So the next thing I like to do is start to create my um, cheekbones a little bit. I get so many questions about how I like make my cheekbones look so popped out. So basically what I do is where there's contour here, as you can see. So this is my contour. As you can see, it kind of goes down below. So it kind of drags my face down further. 
you want it to look a little bit more like snatched and pulled up so I take it and I kind of follow where my ear would go all the way to the side of my lip so just right here that's where we will create it see how there's still some product underneath here so we're gonna clean that up and all I do is I take a concealer and I just go like this if you feel like you went a little overboard with the blush, you can just apply some right there. I like to use a concealer brush that kind of has like this flat edge. Flat right there at the bottom, but then it's also domed shape as well. So this is an hourglass brush. You don't specifically need this, but it's what I have. And I will just create the, por the proportions like this. So next up, we are going to take my favorite product. I showed this to you guys in my recent current favorites video. And this is NARS Rush. And this is a product I'll take right onto my finger. It's so pigmented and so pretty. And I will just apply this right here. See how it just kind of amps up that area? Makes it a little bit more sunburned. So I'll put this right on the crease. Okay, so I'm gonna take this little sponge right here. This is from the Morphe Cherry Coke collection. And I take a little bit on the flat side and I press it onto the back of my hand. I find myself needing to brighten up inside here a lot and I will follow my okay so I'm just gonna leave it like that we'll blend it out a little later but what we're gonna use is the Mario the perfect brown so I like to focus right on the outer corner And then I'm gonna take my liner brush and I'm just going to blend the product out. This is one of the best eyeliners to do this kind of look with because it blends really well and you don't have to use a ton of pressure. I'm gonna take a little bit onto my angled brush. Just a little tiny bit. I don't wanna to do too, too much. I just follow my natural eye shape. What I'm going to do is actually take this Jason Wu palette and the shades are just beautiful, especially for like just basic neutral browns and just earthy tones, kind of burnt orange color. This is what I have on my lids in that picture. I think I also have it underneath my waterline. I just used this to kind of blend everything together and then going in flicking motions towards the end where the wing is, this will kind of help to um, lift and kind of make that illusion a little bit more intense. So now I'm gonna take this shade again Okay, we're going to apply some falsies. These are the Kiss number 11s. I have to trim them just a little bit because these are rather big on my eyes. Even though we are doing false lashes, I think it's important to always curl your lashes. I use the Shu Amora eyelash curler. I'm gonna use my little fan here. I got off of Amazon. It's kind of ridiculous, but it helps to kind of set setting spray and my mascara. So I don't know if these are the exact lashes I used last time because they are 
feeling a little larger than I remember. But I'm just going to fill my brows in with the Anastasia brow pen. Mine's like almost dried out, so I need to like get a new one ASAP. Okay, now the fun part. We're gonna do freckles. So I got the big one. Because remember my little um, tic tac? If you guys know, you know. So next up, I'm gonna use this blush, also one of my favorites. And I'm going to take it and I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of it and just go right here. See how it sort of just enhances what we already have on? Just to kind of blend the freckles in. Done. We're gonna take Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. Such a stunning OG. I think this is still the first one I've had. Like it's probably expired. I mean, to be honest, it works fine, so. The other product I did use on my cheeks was the Beauty Light Wand. These are kind of hard to get your hands on right now, but I'll do my best to look online. I'm pretty sure you can get it on Charlotte Tilbury's website. I know Sephora is like really sold out of them, so I'll try to find it the best I can. Mine's in Pink Gasm, and this is just so pretty. And I like to just kind of apply this all over the cheek, and it creates such a pretty, like, ethereal highlight but with color as well it's so pretty okay, so I'm gonna use the shade coconut or no this is the shade caramel by Kylie okay that is just to line and then I go in with NYX London a swoopy doop right here. So for the gloss, I swear this gloss is probably one of the most amazing glosses I've ever used in my life. It is the Tower 2028 um, Shine On Lip Jelly in Almond. It's so stunning. See how much shine? It makes your lips look so juicy. Let's spray. down I think I might have to restyle them <laughs> what happened okay hang on I have to fix this you guys this is insane I look like George Washington with this hair Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this look. So if you ever recreate this look or any of my looks, definitely tag me because I would love to repost them. And I just wanna see what you guys are doing. Like you guys get to see everything I'm doing, but I don't get to see everything you guys are doing. So it makes me excited whenever you guys tag me in things. I feel very included. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Everything will be linked down below for you guys as well. And yeah. Thanks guys so much for watching. Love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.